gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up and hit the road Cause I, I, I Wanna try Do the summer night And when we They're taking us to our Bali bed and they have it all decorated for our anniversary. Oh, thank you. Here's our bed. They got it all set up for us and decorated with balloons. And here's our view. It's a little gray today, but it's a nice day and it's a great spot to be because we are right on the beach. Happy anniversary. We were gonna do this one yesterday on our actually annivers actual anniversary, but we decided we'd try for today see if we get better weather and now it's sprinkling but they did a really nice job made it fancy for us so um luke and i were talking about 18 years ago and what we remember about that day we're putting sunglasses i'm putting my sunglasses on is it too bright it is a little bright okay. i'm squinting no we were talking about 18 years ago and what we could we remember about our wedding day. So, what? My favorite part was the food. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> we do have a funny story because out, I remember the first thing I asked Luke when we got in the limo to go to our reception was we waited all day to see each other, to have that first moment of when you first saw me. Yeah, and then I said. <laughs> and I said, well, what did you think right before I came down the aisle when you first saw me? And this is what I heard. I said, I couldn't see you because the, there was a sun glare coming through the doors behind her. And so I literally needed these sunglasses because I couldn't see anything but that sun glare. And she was a little bit disappointed in my answer, but it was true. At least was he was honest. honest. Um, but it was so bright because the sun was coming right in the the outside doors of the church and we got married in Lincoln City Church where Sarah and Solo pastor. I couldn't really see anything <laughs> except the sun. <laughs> but eventually, the further down the aisle I got, I think you could see me. Probably. Yes, I could see you, okay. yeah. And so. she had a really long train on her yes. dress. It was like a... I had a cathedral length train. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then the other thing that... Um, I find, I don't know if it's comical, it's not comical. We never ordered official wedding pictures. We have all the proofs, but we never got like an official blown up picture of our wedding, nothing. We just have those little proofs that we can go through and, and look at our day. Well, so. we tried to save money going with a photographer who is in the church and um, he just kind of does it on the side and I, I think he would have we could have ordered through him but we just never did and um, so now we do have the the regular you know photo album full yeah. of the, every picture so I think what we need to do is go back and scan them all now and, and make them digital yeah. just so we have them we do have a VHS video of our what that makes me feel so old when I say that but um, that's all they had then really was VHS or yeah. like 8 millimeter and um, somehow I'd like to get the VHS onto a, a DVD or something like that, but the quality is not great. I've seen it recently, and it, or not recently, I've seen it once and since then, and it's really not great. But we could try. Other than the food, what was the most probably memorable moment that you still have with you? Actually, the food wasn't memorable. I was just sort of joking. Um, no, the reception was a lot of fun, and um, yeah, our first dance was pretty fun. What I uh, what I did to surprise Jill yeah. a couple months before our wedding is um, I arranged for some dance lessons because I didn't grow up dancing and Jill did and so I didn't want to embarrass myself on the dance floor. <laughs> so I, I said well if I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do it right. So I got some dance lessons and we learned how to do our first dance together from an instructor who taught us. Yes really just there to teach me not to teach Jill no, and uh, it, it was good it, we had a great first dance do you remember our song yeah uh, oh my gosh so embarrassing but it was a song by the Backstreet Boys called drowning drowning it's still really such a classic song. 90s love song no it wasn't really 90s it was early 2000s yeah, I was gonna say but um, but I still love that song when it comes on and I remember how you would dip me 
and then yep we got a we got a couple like two dips in yeah in the so. first dance oh the, the crowd went wild they so. did <laughs> so one of my most favorite memories of the day is when luke actually sang to me in the middle of our ceremony <laughs> of course you did um, of course i did we went over to the piano and he sang by Jim Brickman, Love of My Life. Great song, You Are the Love it's of My Life. But amazing. And you still, from time to time in the house, he'll go up to the piano that we have in our house and he just starts playing the first few bars of that and my heart just melts. <laughs> there you go. By the way, have you noticed the sounds of the ocean in the background? <laughs> it's just about 20 feet that way yeah. is, uh, well, more than that, about a 50 feet that way is about mm -hmm. is our uh, ocean view with our waves crashing mm -hmm. up against the sand. Yeah, so I delivered a pizza to you in the groom's room on our wedding. Yeah, so in Lincoln, there's this thing called Valentino's Pizza. It's basically the best pizza on earth, but um, I like their hamburger pizza a lot. It sounds weird, but it's, it's really good. And so um, when I was in the groom's dressing room, um, all of a sudden somebody came to the door with a special delivery from Jill of a, that was the last thing I ate as a single guy was a Valentino's pizza from, <laughs> for, oh. that, was a, that was a lot of fun. Hi Jill, I'm eating your pizza that you gave me. Thank you very much. I love you and I just, we're about 50 minutes away, so I know I'm sure you look beautiful and I can't wait to see you and hopefully I won't pass out when you come down the aisle. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to make sure you weren't hungry while you were saying your vows. Yeah, it's like stomach growling. <laughs> yeah. That was cool. Have some gurgle. And then our reception was, yeah, the dance was a lot of fun. Yep. And actually, that night we left our reception, I think I want to say we left at about 9, and we drove from Lincoln, Nebraska to Crazy Denver, Colorado. Crazy young things here. Yes. We drove all night because we had a 5 a.m. flight to, to San, catch. To San Francisco, connecting on to Maui. Maui. Yep, yep, yep. So we spent our honeymoon in Maui for about a week, and... The first thing we did when we get there, when we got there, it was so early in the morning. Still, our hotel room wasn't ready or our condo. Yeah. And so, we went and had lunch at Taco Bell. <laughs> we did. That was True our story. first meal together. First married meal together, no, Taco Bell. No, we had our reception. Oh, meal. after the reception. Yeah. So, our first year anniversary, we were blessed enough to be able to go back um, to to Maui because Luke still worked for the airline and I worked for Hilton Hotels. So we were able to go back for our one year anniversary. Didn't mom and dad go with us on that one? I think they came back with us uh, so on our first, second. Oh, was it second? Second year. Yeah, my parents went yeah. with us. So we also brought, you guys know them as Nana and Papa, um, on our second year anniversary. And then for our fifth year, you surprised me for our five year anniversary and we went up to Glacier National Park. Oh yeah. And Lincoln came with us because he was 
not able to be left alone. So he was tiny. Yeah, Kenya got to stay with Bop and Gramps at the ranch, and Lincoln came with us to Glacier up in Montana. Mm -hmm. uh, where is that at? Bozeman? Kalispell. Kalispell, yeah. Most, one of the most beautiful places on earth is Glacier National Park, if yeah. you've never been there. We, we need to go back there. I think we were gonna, gonna plan a trip That'd and go back there. That'd be great to take the camper, too. Oh, we went on a cruise. You surprised me one time when we went on like a four day cruise. Oh yeah, that was fun. Car we did a carnival cruise. That was our first, my first cruise ever. I think yours it too. It was mine too, yeah. But ever since then we've done Disney cruises and they're way better. Yes. Sorry carnival, but Disney's yeah. way better. We've been able to make it back to Maui a couple more times and now we're here in Puerto Vallarta. Yep, and we did come here once a while ago with Sarah and Solo. The For first our time anniversary, we were, yeah. yeah. First time we were in Mexico on vacation was yeah. with Sarah and Solo. Yeah. And that was a good time. Yeah. Kenya was only six months and old we, at that time. Oh, really? Yeah, we left her with mom and dad. Yep. Yeah. So we've we've been blessed to get lots of getaways yeah. in, and I. I still enjoy spending time with you and doing just this. Yeah. <laughs> Laying on the beach. It's nice so. to not have an agenda and just to hang out. It's and really enjoy nice. each other. Yep. Yeah. And then we get our cabana decorated by very nice people. Yes. Who knew it was our anniversary yesterday. They <laughs> <laughs> They have been amazing here at the Marriott in yeah, Puerto it's been Vallarta. Really so. good. In fact, you know, you hear things about vacations in Mexico, but I will tell you that just yesterday I left my AirPods in our little cabana and today I thought, shoot, I think I left them down there, you know, probably a good chance they'll be gone, you know, if somebody found them and maybe wanted to keep them, totally get how that could happen. So, but I asked the desk and they, they called and they said, we, we do have them, we found them, and sure enough, they brought them to me. Literally, they brought me my AirPods that they found yesterday, so. Yep. Faith in humanity restored once again, and mm -hmm. I have my AirPods, and I will not leave them at the cabana this time. Okay, now Jill put her sunglasses <laughs> on. But 18 years. Yeah, it's hard to believe it's been that long. Which means like in three years, Kenya's gonna be 18. Ah! Oh my goodness. Well, thanks for spending our 18 year anniversary here in paradise. Yeah. I like these kind of vacations for our anniversaries. We hope you guys have enjoyed seeing the resort where we've stayed at. So we really enjoyed showing you guys our little last minute getaway. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next time. Luke, you may not be sure. I come with the privilege to be the first to congratulate you, Luke and Jill. May the Lord richly bless you on this your wedding day. I am very happy to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Luke David.